What's up, everyone? Bradley Jack Design here. Thank you for joining me for another Designing Live on Tuesdays. Today's subject is going to be super fun and super weird. We're doing Joey Chestnut, so let me just make a uh, quick composition here as usual 2000 by 2500 at 300 dpi i went ahead and did a little bit of editing a little bit of clipping of some photos already um, of some a couple photos of joey chestnut we got here we'll figure out how we want to incorporate those into a design uh, like i said it's going to get weird so i've just got these two photos um I think one of them is from this year actually, and another one might be from, this one's from 2018. He's got the belt that says that. I think this one might be the, from this week. So let's take a look. I also went on our dear friend Envato and downloaded a bunch of photos and a bunch of different angles of hot dogs. Here's a bunch of hot dogs because we're gonna need hot dogs because we can't do a Joey Chestnut design without a hot dog. So. Let's see what we got here. So first off, we've got this photo of Joey. I did a little bit of exploration on how I wanted to do this, but I didn't really land on anything. I started messing around with one thing and I was like, all right, we'll go with that. We'll do that. So uh, let me pull something up on Instagram for you guys so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Uh, so we're probably gonna do something like Matt Lang would do and just do something real weird and like trippy, but like Doctor Strange sort of deal. So like a lot of uh, repeating and stuff like that. That's what we're gonna go with today. So I've got this photo of, of Joey. Um, I don't really know what I want in the background yet. Let's just throw some, throw some quick guides on here. So if you make a selection, it'll actually snap the guides to the middle. So I just select it all and then I can easily drag and have center lines. Uh, it's an easy way to make them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow this photo up of Joey, something like that. I'm going to go in and edit it real quick because you can see like the tiny bit of top of his hair and I don't want that. Also, I'm going to create a clipping mask out of these. Um, I did sort of basic editing that I do on these, so I didn't want to just continue to uh, show you how to do that or what I do for that. So let me just go in here real quick. I'm gonna make a new layer, fill it with white a little bit. So that little piece there, I'm just gonna cut off. Uh, let's make this more than 10% opacity. Hide that, go back, there we go. So now it's gone. So what I want is I want sort of a, I gotta figure out how I wanna do this. So what I'm looking at is, I'm looking on right here, it's gonna flip over. So I kinda want it to blend in. So I'm gonna make his head a little bit bigger, drop it down like this. Hey, hockey nerd fan. I'm glad your surgery went well. Uh, that's uh, an intense, an intense excuse as to be like, oh, hey, I haven't been on your stream. I was having very serious surgery. No problem at all. Happy to have you back here. So yeah, we're gonna do something like this. So move it over just a little bit more. So now we've got this weird line in the middle. Joey looking right at us. It should be dead in the middle for both. So we have our beginning to this very weird graphic. Um, so I'm gonna I'm going to duplicate these and toss them in the back. I'm going to take the left one and I'm going to move it over a little bit. Let's do 20. So I'm going to duplicate that again and take the back one and do the same. And I know there's a transform again sort of thing I can do, but I'm just doing it super manually. Let's do one more. So I did 20 times. Let's save this just so we have a, a quick save down. Joey Chestnut. Not PSD. Gavin, I've never used Premiere. Um, I, I've i used After Effects, which you can do motion stuff with. Um, from my understanding, Premiere is more for 
like video editing than like motion graphics. You can do both in there, but I've never, I think I've opened Premiere once, but that is the most I have done. All right, so I'm gonna duplicate this one. Twenty. I think actually I can just duplicate this. Just move this over and have it match. So I want it to be exactly the same. So let's not do that. I'll just do it again manually. Duplicate. Got it. Besides, obviously, practice. What's the best way to get better at design? Um, I mean, you kind of got it there. It's just learning and doing. Um, you know, I got better from doing a 365-day project. Oh, let me move both of these at the same time. Oops. But everybody, you know, has their own schedules. You know, they... Whoops. Not everybody can do that. So I need to move these down just a little bit. Move this one up. But yeah, just getting better. Learning, I mean, you can know Photoshop really well, but if you don't know specifics of design, it can be hard for you to use that knowledge you have and make something that looks good. You know, there's a bunch of kids that are really good in Photoshop, but you know, if you tell them to put typography on something, they can't. Or if you want them to do anything else, they can't. So it's all about learning and experimenting. It's also about not being afraid to do weird things. Like, you know, like this is weird, whatever I'm doing right now. And as you can see, he's super, super colored. I'm going to fix that. Should tone this down a bit there. Now it's a little bit better. But I mean, that's that's what I would do. Like, I'm trying to figure out ways now of, you know, how can I always get better? And there's always stuff you don't know or you're not going to know. So that's where YouTube comes in handy. But I also have a base of design knowledge that I've been using, you know, because I went to college for design. So I understand some things that uh, like design theory that someone who has not gone to school might not know. So, you know, we got this just weird thing going on. You know, let's throw this hot dog in here or something like that. I kind of want to do something in the background with these hot dogs. I downloaded all these and they're kind of cool because, you know, they make this sort of spiral shape if they're in the right, um, right order. It's like if I toss this one up there, you know, it makes like this spiral, which is kind of cool. So, you know, I can blow this up. See, but if I make it bigger, you can't really see what it is. So I'm trying to think of something I can do easily hmm. CJ that's the problem is like if you go to a college they have curriculum that they know works and teaches people how to design whereas someone who hasn't gone to college or someone who's younger and wants to isn't ready for college yet they gotta find somewhere to go um, I don't know any that teach the basics of design, but you would have to, I mean, it's, you'd have to sit through videos you might not think are entertaining. Um, that's where sort of college comes in handy because you're kind of accountable because you're paying money. Uh, and it's expensive. So that's why I, when people ask me about college, I tell them they should probably go because they're going to be put in an environment to learn. But again... You know, it's it's hard to say. I'm sure there's some channels out there. My channel is nice, but it's specific to just sports design, which is very niche or niche. niche. So it might not help other people who just want to learn design. But I'm sure you could find some stuff on there. Um, okay, how did I want to do his name? 
I was originally looking at like comic book stuff. But let me take a look. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back to Matt's Instagram because that's who is sort of inspiring this. Matt Lang. If you don't follow him on Instagram, you should. He works at Texas. He's the creative director. So yeah, so he's got them. He's got them much closer together, so they kind of like blend into each other. Then he's got this nice inverting. He does some RGB stuff that I can do. He's got this set up like a playing card, which makes sense for how it's set up. And that was just a freestyle he did. I like this sort of stuff he does with some of the effects on there. I think that would help this if I had some lighting effects on all of these, which we might throw in there. All right, where are my hot dogs? Here are my hot dogs. All right. I don't know the best way to do this. I'm trying to think. Because I can make a brush that's black and white. Go to Illustrator. Let's try something, see if I can get this to work in Illustrator. I think I can. Theoretically, it should work. So we're going to try and make a pattern in Illustrator. Which is just a little bit easier than doing it in Photoshop. Based on my knowledge, at least. You might be able to do this in Photoshop, but I do not know what that way is. Alright, so I'm going to take this. And this doesn't really matter, so we're just going to... We're going to go in Photoshop. We're going to go to our brushes. They're up here. Sorry, they're on the other screen. I didn't know where they were. Uh, brushes. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to drag it over here. And I'm going to make a new pattern brush. Oh, they can't contain linked, linked images. Okay, so I need to go to Window, Links. I need to right-click this. Or I need to hit Embed Images. All right, now if I drag this over here and make the pattern brush. Do not show. Here's a pattern brush. This is what I want. All right, so we're going to hit OK. We're going to then take a circle. And we're going to apply the pattern brush to that. There you go. Great. All right, so we're going to edit this brush a little bit. I don't want it to uh, apply to strokes. I don't really want it to like die in like that, but that's fine. Um, let's make this stroke. God, everything is over here. So I, I'm like looking for normal stuff in Illustrator, but it's all on this other complete area. I also hid you guys your chat. Let me do this. All right, here you go. Okay. So we're going to go back to this. See, the spacing is fixed in the zero. So the issue is... Let me delete this. Delete. There we go. Hot dog's gone. Great. All right, let's try this again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a box and cover up that, and then I'm going to do that. So what I did was I'm just masking the image of the hot dog to this. I could probably cut it out in Photoshop too. That would probably work. But this should work just fine. I'm gonna move this down a little bit, move this up a little bit. Actually, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it out in Photoshop and I'll show you why. All right, hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Blah, 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 select subjects. I'm just going to mask this. And then since it's masked, I can go up to image trim. And then I can hit based on transparent pixels. And now it's cropped exactly to where I want it to be. Hot dog brush dot PNG. Right, let's hop back over to Illustrator. Let's delete everything. All right, so we got our hot dog ping here. Toss it in there. We're going to embed it 
And then we're gonna drag it over here and make it a pattern brush. Hit okay. We'll just, we can delete that actually, we don't need it. And then we can make an ellipse. Click on our hot dogs. It'll apply the pattern and boom, here's a bunch of hot dogs. Now they're all pinched, which is not really what I want. What's up, Porter? I'm not exactly sure how to fix that. But we're gonna try. If you guys weren't aware, Porter missed last week. He just forgot. He is a bad, bad friend. Okay. Hope I didn't like sent this into some random loop. So I can make this bigger and it should pull out more hot dogs. Oh look, Henry and Bennett are here too. So look, hot dogs. That's good. We got some hot dogs here. So let me hit a couple buttons. And see what happens. I don't want to preview this. See, the issue is, is I'm, I'm, I'm doing this and, all right, we'll see if that works. Hmm. Okay. Don't want to do that. I want to go like six. So what we're doing is we're making our background for this really weird who's what's it. Okay. How many, how many turns? Okay. That's fine. The issue is I have so many hot dogs right now. You had a semi-championship game for state last week. You had an excuse to be gone. Porter did not. Okay, I know what we can do. I think. All right, we're gonna make this huge. Might break, might break Illustrator because it just has to process all of those ping files that are embedded to this all at once, which is why I would rather do this in Photoshop, but I'm not really certain how to make a scatter brush like that in Photoshop. It's probably the same way to be honest. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to go to Effect, Transform, Transform. We're not gonna preview, we're gonna go 90, 90. We're gonna move it zero, we're gonna rotate it. Uh, let's rotate it 69 degrees for no reason, just because we can. And we're gonna do 20 copies. And we're gonna hit okay, and we're gonna see what this does. So what this should do is it should shrink things Shrink it 90%, rotate it 69 degrees, and do that 20 times. So this might take a hot second. While this is applying the pattern brush, how many hot dogs do you guys think you could eat in, uh... Yeah, see? So it does that. Which is kind of what I wanted. The issue is that the hot dogs are so there's so many hot dogs they're like I need to have an exact rotation or else it's not gonna work so now it's got to go back this is kind of what I wanted it to do actually what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go to object expand appearance group all these together and then do that and I'm gonna do an angle of like 1%, 90, oh, that's transformation. I just got the low battery in my headset, so that's always good. So these are probably gonna die. Um, scale, let's do 85, 85, 50 copies, okay. We'll see what this does. Yeah, it's too much, I went too far, I went too far. Let's transform, all right, let's do 90, 90. 
let's do see i don't know what the exact i don't know what the good angle would be 50 copies see it doesn't even look like it's moving at all the issue is there's too many hot dogs i think that's what it is let me do this let me angle it zero and copy And then rotate that like that. I don't know what I don't know what hold on. Here we go. This is gonna be the background border. Trying to think actually if it might look better. What's up, everyone? Let's try something different. We have all these hot dogs. Let's get a different hot dog photo. Let's go to our favorite place. Our favorite not sponsored place in Vado. Hot dog. They got a bunch of hot dogs in here. I just chose the ones that were playing because that's actually what they eat. I felt like if I put like a hot dog with ketchup, they'd be like, oh, they don't even need ketchup. All right, let's do this. Yeah, this might look cooler. All right, so we're gonna get a hot dog. We're gonna get a hot dog looking at us. Like that. I should really email them. The issue is, I don't know how much Envato cares about 10 people watching me design something every week. So that is the, that is the issue. All right, uh, crop image. Uh, what am I doing? Trim. I mean, I'm happy you guys are here to watch me. I mean, I'm just trying to make something weird. And I think we've done that already. Whatever, we'll save that to my desktop. All right, let's hop back in here. Thank you, Henry, for tweeting Envato sponsor this man. We'll see if that uh, gets some micro influencing on, on here going for me. Might make this a little bit smaller. We can drag this over. So again, it's really easy to make a brush or a scatter brush you just sorry i need to embed the object and then you just drag it over to the brushes or you select it and you hit new brush and then you do pattern brush okay uh delete okay let's make a big old circle now big circle And I know I already did this wrong. Because I want it to be inverted. Yeah, because that doesn't look weird. That looks broken. Let's see if I can fix that in here. It'll honestly be faster if I just do it again, instead of waiting for them to do their stuff. Okay, so I need to flip this over. There we go. Then make it smaller. Image is embedded. Go here. I would like to make a pattern brush. Thank you. Okay. Delete everything. Big ol' circle. Pattern brush. Then it should theoretically look like a bunch of hot dogs, like a hot dog frame. Yeah, like that. Then if I go to select effect transform 4% at 90, 50 copies and hit okay. And I don't know if I wanna make them smaller actually. I think I just wanna make them 
Now we'll see what it looks like. Yeah. See, this looks weird. This is what I want. I want something that looks weird as hell. I think I changed the Nightbot settings so it wasn't so spammy, but we'll see if that actually worked. Oh, I want to paste this as a smart object. It is. Okay. What is Illustrator saying? We'll see if this works. I'm sure there's probably a better way or easier way to do this on in Photoshop. I don't know what it is, actually. That would be a good video for me to figure out and watch. If something isn't broken, I'll be kind of surprised. Yeah, Illustrator is Illustrator and Photoshop are both broken right now. So we're gonna do a little trick. If you force quit and cancel it immediately. Sometimes it jobble, it jobbles out. Random pattern fill with but with hot dogs. Maybe. We're probably gonna lose everything we made. So the last 25 minutes down the drain. I'm gonna try that and we'll see if that works. I'm gonna let, uh, I'm gonna let Illustrator try and figure this out. Oof, and we'll try this again. Okay. These are the fun parts about doing these lives is when you completely break everything. All right, Photoshop's up. We'll move this out of the way. We don't need that. We don't need this. All right, I want Photoshop and I want, all right, hold on. I gotta quit out of Illustrator. Yep, that makes sense. It's way too powerful. All right, so you want me to, how do you want me to do this? Fill? You want me to fill with a, with a pattern? You want me to make a new pattern? Right, hold on. Where's our clicked out hot dog? I was gonna do something with like golden hot dogs, but I don't think I'm gonna do that anymore. So we toss this in here, we go to patterns. And I just drag it, can I just, can I just drag this over here? Is that how this works? Hot dog. There. Now can I go like this and then hit edit, fill, pattern. I want to fill it with hot dogs. The issue though, is that it's too big. All right, let's just do this instead. Okay, since we had to completely start over because everything broke, let's try this again. I think Porter's too busy to get on the stream. I will be having someone else on the stream next week, next Friday. I will be streaming earlier and for longer. So we can do weird stuff on that stream. I haven't figured out who I'm going to have yet. I'm trying to get, I'm going to ask, depending on how the playoffs happen with the NBA, I'm going to see if Ethan J is available. Because then we, we, I could go on a little earlier. And we can make some cool stuff. So let's, let's see here. How do I want to do this? Duplicate, 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 duplicate. Throw this one in the back. Throw these down. 
do one of these. Below, 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 below. Yeah, something like that. So we'll do one of these, do one of these, and there we go. Great. All right, let's. It's actually. changing my mind on what I want to do here. All right, let's go like this. Let's take Joey here. Duplicate him, flip him over. No, not flip him over. Do this first. This is the issue of designing live, is I can be like, um, what do I want to do here? There, now we got, uh, now we got, now we got two cool guys here. All right, so let's group this together, duplicate it, put it below, rotate it 15 degrees. And I know there's a way to do this easier, but I never do it. So I'm just gonna do it all manually. 15 degrees, 15 degrees, 15, oh, that's 15%. Geico will help you save 15% or more on your car insurance. All right, get this going, team. I feel like Joey's had to have done some sort of competition like that. I watched the like 30 for 30 on him with Kobayashi and it's really interesting just like Thanksgiving challenges and like the food eating scene in like Japan. It's crazy. All right, now we have this weird ass pattern with Joey. So now I can convert this. Well, I could get Jonathan on here. That's not a problem. I get what you're saying. The problem is he's in France. Yeah. But if I start streaming at, you know, noon my time, he might be able to do that. I've vaguely mentioned that to him before, I think. We're just getting a lot of forehead right now, but I like it. Let me get his eyes in there again. Yeah, there we go. See, this is weird. Is this weird enough? I think this is weird enough, so that's good. Uh, let's duplicate these. And we're going to change the blend if layers and then move them slightly. So then they're a little distorted. Okay, I want one Joey Chestnut in the front though, unbothered. Lots of Joeys. All right, let's duplicate this. Uh, let's go into the blend settings. Let's do, I don't know, purple. Let's move it half. That's too much. Negative 0.25. Uh, let's duplicate this one. Let's do this, hit enter. Uh, let's move this. 15. Henry, what if you did a stream where you also gave us the elements and we all posted as a thread to yours after the stream ended? Someone brought that idea up and asked when Dan, Dan and I did ours. Oh, you know what? I did save that Joey Chestnut file. So I guess I didn't have to redo this because we saved because we're smart. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, I could do that. Let's go back, Joey's. We gotta fix this again, get rid of the selective color layer. Okay, I'm going to convert this to a smart object. Because I have a bridge file. I have a displacement file I made for a DJ Moore graphic. Maybe breathing. Welcome to my downloads folder. <laughs> um, stock images, glitch. Should have a circle glitch in here somewhere. Yeah. Zoom displace. Blow this up a little bit. Hop in here. Save, go back over, set this to screen. That's good. That's good. That's, that's enough slices. Let's rotate this bad boy, set this to screen. Rotate it again, make it a little bit smaller. Rotate it, you know, I don't know, like that. Get that. Looks like an iris, that actually looks pretty dope. We'll save that to the desktop, which it already is there. Okay, that's good. Uh, ah. Okay, so I need to right click, convert new, be a smart object. Right click, replace contents. And put this in there instead. And do that again, because I guess I did the save. So let's go here. Get rid of that, save down, go back. We're here, we got that. All right, so we got this one on top. We want this. This be the smart object. We double click this, is it still a square? No, it's not. All right, we save this out. This is what we're gonna use as the displacement map. Turn this on, turn this off. We're gonna go to Yeah, I have what I want, but I'm gonna convert these to a smart object. I don't really wanna liquefy them. I could probably do that. I wanna twirl them. Lose the twirl. We're not gonna lose the twirl, we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna do that. That's what I wanted. Exactly what I wanted. Up in here, go like this, convert to smart object, filter, twirl. 50, save. All right, I know we're doing a bunch of weird stuff. Okay, so then we wanna to go to filter, distort, displace. We'll do 1010, that should be fine for now. We're gonna use this one, which I think is the black and white one, which warped stuff a little bit. Let's displace it like a bunch and see what happens. Then if I turn this on with the color, and set this to color dodge. Overlay, let's do color dodge. Let's do it again, let's do screens. It's not, it's not, not doing what I want. Not doing what I want. Oh gosh, things are messed up. Okay, let's do this, let's toss this here. See, and this is where like doing a stream based on um, yeah, see that's broken. It's wrong. These are all, these are all, that one's right. It shouldn't matter. So I'm trying to figure out what is matter with how this did not work. I think I did the wrong file. Okay, let's try this again. Turn all these off. Dis 
place. That's better. Now if I turn this on, things still aren't matching up though. Because theoretically, yeah, that's... the problem. Let me look. Sorry, I'm getting very confused. The problem though with using images that are like not the best. I think I just displaced it too much. Because these should be lining up, but as you can see, they're not. Because it's stretching it to the canvas. I forget how to fix that. Oh, well, we'll go with it. Convert this to a smart object. We'll then turn this. Yeah, that's, that is why. Now I know why, okay, I know I broke. So the issue is this back joey's is not the same as this displacement file so i'm gonna duplicate this back joey's i'm gonna take this get rid of the displacement group it select no and then i'm gonna convert it to a smart object so now it's the same size as the displacement file so if i go to distort displace and displace it a whole bunch again and use the displacement file we made it distorts better and it distorts along the lines of where this is. So this lines up a lot better. Now the issue is I want to duplicate all this stuff and rotate it, but I can't do that because of how things are. So let me just go in here, duplicate this, rotate it around Delete the smart filter, and we're going to knock this out. Yeah, we're going to do something like that. I don't know what colors, though. Let's just do a traditional of that, and let's set it to screen or overlay or normal. Let's just do that. Let's just see how, how weird this looks. See, this is looking too much like that Hypnotani graphic I made because of the glitching I did in the background, so maybe not. Maybe I don't want to do that. All right, let's delete that. Yeah, I like the yellow and the green. Could probably get that back. I'm going to set this to color dodge, like 50%. Duplicate it and set it to screen. At 50%. We'll go back in here. We'll duplicate this. We'll move it. We'll move it slightly. We're going to delete the layer mask. We're going to go in here. You liked the green and yellow. Which would be this. So let's do that. Okay, so that's done, so cool. Um, hmm. So we got this Joey here that I like. No, it's just a good photo of Joey that I wanted to include. But maybe we won't. Get Envato back up. Go to Matt Lang again. Yep, just some stuff. I mean, it's pretty simple composition, look cool. We got rid of the eyes and made them look demented. We don't really need to do that. Let's close this tab group because I do not want this there. Let's get rid of this. Let's duplicate this guy and just flip him down here. 
This just shows that like you might think you know what you're doing with some stuff. Can I just do this? Yeah, that's what I thought would happen. Ah, see they're not even lined up. It's on me. Whoops. There. That's better. Matt the Texas God. That's a good way of putting it. I might get Matt on here. He he talked about wanting to be on here. He's not too busy. Um, okay, so we got weird weird stuff going on. Let's see if we can throw some of these hot dogs in here. So this is why I wanted to do like Hot dogs behind him swirling around too. But I broke Illustrator, so that's probably not going to happen. Let's go like this. Because I can't, I can't just drag this into here. I can have this selected. And I can hit new... Sorry, the way I would do this is I would go up to Image or Edit, Define Brush Preset. But it's doing the whole thing of what I have and not just the hot dog. That's troublesome. Let's see if we can tweak some of this stuff in the background, though. Tweak stuff like how. Let's grab this. Um, I want this button selected. There we go. Just grab a couple of random joeys and invert them. Get some love on that side somewhere. There. Let's see what that looks like. Other than heckin' weird. Again, the whole point of this is just to experiment and just find some random things to do. So yeah, they all kind of line up because they're all the same, but okay, whatever. See what that looks like. Let's quit out of that. Quit out of that. Quit. 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 Save. Go back. Okay, so we got some of that going on. Let's just do something real simple. Because, I mean, really, the issue is with with everything I make, and I say this, it's like it all depends on the photos you can find. And, like, we can't find good photos of Joey Chestnut. Like, and all the photos of him actually doing what he wants to do is he's, you know, shoving his gut full of food. Which nobody likes. I was going to try and do a... See if I can do this real quick. An idea of how I could try and make it make an ambigram with Joey. So we'll see if we can do that. Oh look, file couldn't be recovered. How about that? No crap. Okay, so I want the width to be pixels. I want it to be 2000 by 2500. Um, text, please. Thank you, Joey. So with Joey, you can kind of, kind of flip it around and make this work. I think. Uh, let me find a font. Let's try it with this. Oops. 
So I want this to fill up most of the space. And really, I just want these two here. Hmm. That already looks like a Y. So I need this to look not like a Y. And then the E would be like... Something like this. And then you would do that. And then it would spell Joey. That's not what we're getting here. So maybe not. Cool idea. Yeah, we can kind of get this to kind of look like an E, you see? Just a little bit, whoops. I mean, it's a cool looking shape, but not what we want. Oh, what are they, what are they, hold on. Yeah, the Glizzy Gladiator. Or Jaws. Joey Jaws. We'll just do Jaws, and we're gonna use a different font than this. So I'm trying to find a font I can manipulate easy, like this. Edit some of this kerning. Blast this up. That should be good. Drop, 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 drop. This is gonna be like the most incoherent thing I've ever made. Okay, show me the, show me the, no, sorry, convert to shape, not point type. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. We're gonna take these and. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And we're just gonna boost this down, sort of like that. But then we're gonna change the blending mode so we can actually see what it is. They could do this. It kind of says Jaws. Duplicate it, set it to normal, set the fill to zero, but then give it a stroke. And give it a stroke of, I don't know, like overlay or something like that. Then we got our one Joey Chestnut here at the bottom as the star, star of the graphic. Just with all this craziness going on in the background. Then we just throw some, throw some hot dogs in the background. You know, like a, throw a hot dog there. We're gonna throw this under the category of Dadaism. That's the only way this is going to make any sense. Yikes, this is, this is, this is, this is Scruff McGruff right here. Let's get rid of these. Let's go in here. Let's find some cool stuff to throw on top. We're going to throw stuff on top to cover this up to see if we can make this look good. Bennett, I don't know what I've done. This might not be one of the, the stronger weeks of streams, but again, it's hot dog eating contest. So what can you expect? Uh, yeah, we'll toss one of those on there. Let's throw another one on here. You know, this one looks cool. Uh, I like to use levels even though it doesn't matter. You can use curves, it's the exact same thing, but not really. First stream fail? Now my Shohei Otani graphic kind of sucks. So that would be the first stream fail for sure. 
I think I know how I can somewhat salvage this. Look at something. <laughs> okay, so we got Joey here. We're going to go like this. We're going to add some more text. The text we're going to be is called I'm more than just a competitive eater, period. I'm a smart guy. I could be an awesome park ranger. Quoted by the man himself. All right, this is a Joey Chestnut quote. We're gonna give it a super fat font, like Husker. Toss it up here. Um, if you guys don't know what Dadaism is, look up look up Dadaism because that's what this is. I could be an awesome park ranger. Okay, so this is kind of impossible to read. So let's. Give this a stroke on the center that is normal, set to black. Oh, competitive wrong. Should probably fix that. Compet competitive. Okay, yeah, stroke. Here we go. Let's do inside actually. Nope, inside's bad. Outside. Outside's fine. Need to make it a little bit bigger and I need to make this like 15. And then you give this a drop shadow. And then another drop shadow. I want the drop shadow to be a size of zero though. And then eight. And then just add this. Six, 16. Add this, 24, add this, add, I can't add anymore, 32, make it black, make this 130, and there, now we got, got a nice little thing here, Joey Chestnut, I'm going to make Joey Chestnut a different Part of this, different font, same font, slightly different. Get some of that, get some of that kerning up. You know what would actually almost solidify this is if I did put a gradient map on the background. We glue everything together a little bit. Let's go in here and let's use a color lookup and see if we can do that instead. Three strip looks kind of cool. Let's add a gradient map. The black and white gradient map kind of slaps, actually. I wanted to do the rainbow to see how insane that would look, and it looks too insane, so we're not going to do that. Black and white slaps, though. So this is turning into a quote graphic. Just blow up Joey Chestnut like this. We just put this in front of him. Get rid of these guys. You know, put this here. Big old, big old quotes. Make them, make them huge. Big fat quotes. Put them there, set the fill to zero. Then we're gonna, oops, wrong fill. 
Now you see, it's Dr. Phil. I really need to figure out just a way for on stream to just say, God damn it, Bobby, as much as I possibly can. Just made an artboard on accident. Just did it again. Sorry, when you hit V, it either selects the artboard tool or the move tool. And I was trying to move. Stop it, you. Move. Just trying to figure out how I want to do these quotes. You know, do I want them somewhat on like this? Just add like a little bit of a multiply behind them so you can see them. See, but then we can boost this up a little bit and add something. Give this color. That way it pops a little bit better. Still has the same look. That, just a competitive eater. So light leaks don't really make sense anymore. So let's go to bridge. Let's go to my downloads. Yeah, Jack, it has not been good today. It's been kind of a kind of a jerk. It's been one of those days though. A pippa. Sure. Throw some real, real papery looking stuff on here. Set to multiply like 40%. Does that look like, looks like that. Okay. All right, now we can go in and actually like really tweak this photo, Joey Chestnut. Put the selective color back on there. Let me show you what I did to this since we've got a little bit of time, since we kind of know what we're doing with this. All right, original photo. Camera raw. Looks like that. Unsharp mask. I'm actually gonna add another one. I'm gonna add a filter other high pass because I've been doing this recently. Straight on it. Wanted so it like barely shows up. Then I can go down here and I can select the blending options for the high pass and just set it to overlay. And let's do 66% just for fun. Color manipulation, color manipulation, color manipulation. But then I took the original photo and actually set it to color, which is something I usually haven't done. Flex of color to boost the yellows and the reds. Curves layer to brighten up everything. Hue and saturation and curves layers to boost the eyes and the teeth. And another curves layer to make everything bigger. Let's make another curves layer. I really want these teeth to pop, like obnoxiously. Yeah, I want it like super obnoxious. That is super obnoxious. Okay, so we got some, we got some stuff there. You know, now we just got this nice little quote graphic going on. What else should I add to this? Got all those hot dogs, I could add those. I think I need a little bit more texture. Let's add this. I think I got this on design cuts. I'm gonna add this. Good old paper textures. I'm gonna invert it though. So we get these really cool looking who's a what sits on it. Gotta boost this, boost that. What I really wanna do is I just wanna boost these like, the texture of it. I don't wanna cover anything up. You know, like it's all over his face there. That's not what I want. I want it to be like this. Maybe boost it up a little bit, jump it up. But it's still, still not contrasty enough. You know what will make it contrasty enough? 
I make a new layer behind it like that. Group these together, set it to set it to normal. I'll set it to normal now. But if I add an adjustment layer of a threshold, that'll make it super how I want. There. Much, much better. I've been trying to find new technique things like that, like using threshold to make things absolute black and white because you can get cool textures like that. All right, so as an as an homage to Matt Lang, who is what we're basing this kind of off, let's let's do what he would do. He would do something like this. You know, add add a little bit of that. I want it to be like round, though. You know, like I want it to be. I want it to be like a curve. I don't want it to be a flat line. I want it to curve in the background. I think it gives it a little, a little something extra. Let's also duplicate this. Set it. The blending mode to I don't know just red and move it over and blow this up I don't know we're just having fun yeah there gives a little bit more color but the color is actually his face oh good we've exceeded two gigabytes check if we haven't exceeded two gigabytes i'm doing something wrong okay so i'm gonna give him so i wonder where this oh, oh here we go i wonder where this quotes from because a lot of um quote graphics have like a little reasoning behind it I might change the quote though to something else. Because like, here's a quote from this season, you know, it just felt good, blah, blah, blah. Even though I was uncomfortable having everybody cheer me, push me, it made me feel good. Let's do that. We're gonna do that instead. I mean, this is a dope quote. But I think this quote will make more sense and then I can sort of attribute it a little bit better. But just not. And then I can say on winning his 14th Nathan's famous 4th of July cheese hot dog eating contest. Contest. Got our seals running them right here. Contests. So then I can make this smaller. Um, shouldn't it say a competitive eater. Is that the old text that should say that? I was just, I just found some quote of his online. So it could be wrong. Super, super, super good. Let's blast this up a little bit. Oh, and gotcha. A competitive eater. That makes sense. Probably. I want to spread this bad boy out now. I want to really, really toss that. Whoops. Really toss that letting up a ton. More letting. 
More dots. More dots, more dots, more dots, more dots. You know what that's from, you're allowed to stay. Get this paste. Drop this down. We'll put this in front of the, the goofy stuff we've got going on. And we'll make this white, actually. And we'll make this really small down here. Actually, we'll put this down here. And then I can blow this up. Oh, man, it's so... I like how you guys can't even see like any of this. Hello, make big, please. Thank you. Thank you for make big. Uh, let's put these both on top of this. Eh. It's okay. Not reinventing the wheel on this. But that's fine. Okay, we want that there. Want this on top of everything like that. Set to 80% save. I think this is a little too much. We'll drop this down just a little bit. Yeah, let's put it back. Put it back where it was. What do you guys think? It's weird. But weird is good. I like to say that to people. If you want to make something weird, I'll be like, this is weird. Thank you for making this. Everything can't look the same. Everything looks the same. You start getting complacent with how things are supposed to look. Slide that down there. What this is also doing is it's also showing that I can make a quote graphic, which is something clients are probably gonna to wanna to see. So that is why I would make something like this if you were doing a, uh, just a graphic for fun. You know, making hero graphics and stuff that looks super hype is fun, but um, let's do this. Let's just do these. But this would be something a client would want. Would be want a graphic with a quote on it or a graphic with text on it. Now this one's super weird. Uh, but that's what we wanted to do today. We wanted to make it super weird, which is why I tweeted, we're gonna get super weird. All right, we wanna do anything else to this? Other than delete it all, because it looks really weird. We've got 17 minutes. Hmm. What if we turn these back on? Love me a good light leak with a big rainbow on it. <laughs> hey guys, what should I do? This delete it? Yeah, it's probably it's probably a good idea. Should probably delete it. See if someone showed so if someone showed this to me and they wanted critique on it, I'd be like, background's way too damn busy. You can't read anything in the front. It's like what if I turn all this stuff off? Probably reads better. But that's not the point. The point is, I wanted to make something real messed up. Let's go like this. Let's actually, I can add a little bit of contrast with some of this paper. I don't know. Just throw a little bit of a paper texture on top of this. Makes it a little bit more legible. You know, duplicate this Jaws, except not. Let's 
I don't like this paper on top of everything. I want it on top of this. That's for sure. Let's just put it on top of that. Better I can make it a little bit smaller then. Because the good paper textures to me are very subtle. You know, this is kind of subtle. The smaller it is, the easier it is to make it subtle. I gotta fix these drop strokes. Drop shadows, that's 80% at that. No, I want normal. I want normal at 100%. Drop shadow, bottom one, 100%. And I guess this isn't perfect, like, you, know, you can see the drop shadows in this. Theoretically, you could do one where it's a bunch at like 2% or moves at four steps instead of eight. To make, a little, make it look a little bit better. Okay, let's add... Add the Nathan's logo to the bottom here. I wonder if we can hijack their logo from the internet. What do you think? Think they're gonna have it here in the source code? It's a pink file, but that'll work. Just drop it down here. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to let's give it a color overlay of white. We're going to treat this like a signature. So you know what that means. We're gonna convert this to a smart object and we're gonna blur it even more than it already is because this is a ping file. Gaussian blur, 15%. Yeah, there we go. So now I wanna get rid of these quotes here at the bottom. Whoops. So the quotes are gone, so we don't need those anymore. So I'm gonna put them up here somewhere. I'm gonna duplicate this and just give it some quotes. Duplicate this and give it some quotes. And then just bump that up like that. And then move this whole thing down just a little bit. Just so they're in the area of this, which I can always just make bigger like that. And actually I want to change this so if the underlying layer is white, I want to blend that in a little bit. Really I just don't want it to affect that is what I want to do. I'm glad that uh, nine of you guys stuck around for this weirdness. It's very weird. That's that's the way we like it. That's the way, uh huh, uh huh, we like it. Uh huh, uh huh. Throw my logo in here somewhere weird. It's like huge, but you're not going to be able to tell it's there because uh, this whole thing's crazy looking. I should get Calvin Bridges. Calvin Bridges. Calvin Bridges, the scientist known for his contribution to fields of genetics, died in 1938. So, probably not. Okay, what was I doing? I was trying to find my logo, which is plugged into this hard drive.
Let's see if I know who you're talking about. UConn men's basketball. I must not follow him. Oh well. Um, do, 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 do. I want, I want my assets. I want asset stuff. I really need to export my logo. Calso scoped. I'll take a look. See if I know who that is. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Big old logo that's black. We're gonna open, we're just gonna open this. I'll look him up. Oh, he has a YouTube channel. See, that would help. Because he'd be like, oh gosh, hold on. Yeah, he does cool sports stuff, it looks like, so that's fun. That would actually make sense, like, um, brand wise for him and me to get him on here. Is that just a difference? Ah, what is difference? Hitting a bunch of hotkeys. You want difference or exclusion? Or do I just want to do like color burn? Color burn. There we go. All right. I'm kind of sick <laughs> looking at this because it's weird. Um, so what we're going to do is going to take this final Sorry, I'm trying to see Was this the background? Hmm Okay, so let me take this gradient map. And what if I make it so it only affects the darks of the underlying layer? Gives it a little bit more color coming back up. Whatever, that's fine. He streams like all the time. Or he has recently. He streamed a bunch. Let's take a look at him. Uh, well, I'm going to call it early just because I think we're done with this. I think you guys are done looking at it. I'm sick of, sick of looking at it. So, thank you for joining me for this weird, weird, weird quote graphic extravaganza. Um, if you guys, every Friday does a 90 minute challenge. Oh, see, that's what I do every Tuesday, essentially. This, uh... This was a bit of a weird challenge, though. So, thank you for joining me. Um, if you guys want to see content better than this, but weird like this, make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, if you guys are new, I stream every Tuesday, 7 o'clock to 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard slash Daylight Savings Time, depending on the time of year. And I basically tell you whatever you guys want to hear. Um, I will be doing an extended stream next Friday. I don't know if I'll have a guest on. My plan is to get someone to come on and do a design challenge live. Do another designer duel. Um, that will be Friday. I'm doing a extended private stream for my Patreon this upcoming Thursday. They can basically tell me whatever they want. I will show them whatever they want. So other than that, uh, again, thank you for joining me. I mean, this is kind of cool what I made here. You know, it's very untraditional. 
very in inspired by some people we see here, but we'll just, again, clock this under Dadaism and call it a day. So with that, thank you for joining me. You guys have